you know, we're kind of in one of those moments in time where clearly AI and generative AI is revolutionizing everything. Um, but particularly within the creative industries, it's it's enabling and empowering opportunities at scale that have just never been deemed possible before. And so for us to kind of be a part of that in regards to where we sit, which is, you know, fundamentally mocap and, and animation, um, it's a really exciting time. And we're kind of, we, we're genuinely at a threshold where whilst the technology itself is, you know, at a comparable level to other mocap solutions, we're kind of still fundamentally at ground zero. So, you know, the, the, the tech with where we are right now has, um, exponential room for improvement. It really is kind of a baby technology. And that's that's the amazing thing about AI. So yeah, it's, it's exciting times for us. For me, I've kind of selfishly felt like, yeah, I did kind of grow up in the perfect time for contrast between pre-internet and mobile phones and you know everything else. And then also 2011 neural networks kicking in and AI becoming a very revolutionary thing, especially in the last three years. For you, yeah, like, how do you feel about that? Just because Again, I think it is such an exciting time, and I think that most people aren't fanatics about it. They're not really keeping their finger on the pulse, uh, but they're all very intrigued. And the fact that it is kind of capturing mainstream people and their attention is one thing. But, you know, in general, just being able to kind of keep their finger on the pulse in terms of what's coming down the pipe, there's so many innovations every single day. So, I mean, for you, what's it been like to observe um, looking at all the, the tech that's innovating every day in the tech that you guys are developing as well. You know, there's been a, a kind of a rapid evolution, I'd say, in the past 12 months or so from AI being something which is, you know, in the mainstream consumer and to a certain degree, professional consciousness as being something which is industrial, enterprise, complex, you know, the remit of incredibly smart people and confusion as to what it is and what it does and why it's relevant and why it matters to me. And I think it's remarkable in the past 12 months, actually, how, you know, so many incredible tools have come out that harness the power of AI that really are familiar and understandable and enabling. And it's kind of almost just demystifying what AI is and what AI is and what it can do. And so I think that kind of emergence into the mainstream consumer consciousness of AI being something that, you know, is kind of this creative enablement tool and something that can be translated into something that really makes sense to me as an individual, whether I'm a consumer or a professional, I think that's been a marked shift. You know, we we ultimately are in a place whereby I guess what we're trying to do is benefiting from the way in which the trends are moving towards automation, democratization, cost efficiency, scale, um, you know, enabling creativity at a much faster pace and speed. The mindsets that are starting to develop within people that are actually creating incredible content, whether that's movies, VFX, shorts, games, doesn't need to be that expensive. It doesn't need to require loads of people. It doesn't need to require massive amounts of expertise or historic background. And it can be, you know, it can be created and generated using the right types of AI, AI tools. And, you know, as I say, for us, we're wholly embracive of kind of everything that's happening in relation to, you know, generative AI and, and particularly with the creative opportunity that it's opening up because, you know, we're kind of very lasered in when it comes to AI focusing on movement and motion data. And so, you know, we're still in a point right now where people engaging with Move have got to have a level of technical capability, whether that comes to Omniverse or Unreal or Unity or, you know, some kind of VFX understanding. But what's rapidly starting to transpire now is that with the types of tools that are emerging, you know, you won't necessarily have to have that expertise in game engine technology to, to, use, to use the motion in a way that you can create something. Um, so, I mean, particularly in the last, for us, 12 months, I'd say, you know, ever since Meta became Meta and, you know, the Metaverse became something, so you kind of got the generative AI piece and you kind of got the Metaverse piece, and you've also got the continuing emergence of game engines and VR and AR and XR. All these things kind of uh, have come together to really help us accelerate what we're doing and, and illustrate really contextually valuable ways of how people can use our system across all those different environments. Uh, there's no doubt that AI is kind of, you know, transforming, coming back to what we were talking about right at the outset, it's transforming everything. I can foresee a time within a decade where, you know, op optical systems um, and to a certain degree inertial systems are gonna be rendered redundant by AI. And then that is largely because, you know, whether it's us the ones that are delivering upon that or or not, you know, the, the, the growth and improvements of the AI itself and kind of AI just period generically across everything from mid journey to chat GBT. The improvements 
have exponential potential. Mm. So, you know, with where we are right now with the kind of core technology that it is still kind of ground zero, it's like stage one. So, you know, we've got magnitudes of improvement in speed, in accuracy and capability that we can achieve over the next 10 years. So, you know, who knows what will transpire, but but ultimately, I think um, you'll start to see a huge amount more businesses and creators embracing, you know, AI, AI tools for motion capture and animation over the next year, two years, three years, for sure. Is there any specific technology that um, you're excited about and keeping your eye on that's either available now or, you know, coming down the pipe? One of the things that is really exciting us at the moment, and we're seeing a lot of clients actually using it is um, there's a company called Avaturn and they have designed a, a system that, that is quite similar to actually the recent NBA video that you might have seen but you know it's, it, it all runs off an iPhone and allows you within 30 seconds to generate a super high fidelity avatar um, literally just from scanning half of your body and that's exciting the ability for you to generate avatars of yourself or from anyone at massive scale and then personalize them using things like um, tools like mid journey so you kind of you're creating your base avatar and then you're able to kind of describe exactly you want it to wear what the hair looks like what jewelry they're wearing you know that character generation is is really interesting for us because you know ultimately one of the things that is i guess a slight inhibitor at the moment for people that don't really understand game engine technology at, at, at kind of with a material level experience is how do you craft and create a really incredible avatar that you're utilizing in any environment? So I'd probably keep an eye on them. I'll keep an eye out for it for sure.